Okay, have y'all ever heard of the word organized chaos? Yeah, this is very organized chaos. Just organized chaos, and we'll leave it at that. I don't like feeding the goats on the ground, especially dirt. Birds, I don't mind, because birds will use their beak, and they'll peck things off the ground. Goats have to get down and nibble low, but being as we have so many babies all in a very confined area, oh, Lord, look at that. I couldn't, oh, no. What did you do, sweetie? Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetie. Okay, hold on. Sweetie, come here and I'll help you, baby. Y'all, give me a second here. Don't try to, come here, sweetie. That's okay. Sweetie, come here, baby. Okay. Y'all, just relax. Ah. <laughs> LJ, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, like I said, organized chaos. In case you've ever wondered how our afternoon feed up looks, especially now we have all these extra babies hanging out here at uh, Lester's Ark. Yeah, we'll call it Lester's Ark. This is how it goes here. Y'all come and join me. This is gonna be a lot of fun and very, well, it's just a lot of fun. Well, we got all these guys spaced out along this fence line, even though the donkeys are all preferring to share. They they do that, y'all. That's really sweet. Now, not Ivy. She's not a donkey. She's a pony. You all know she's a pony. Hey, sweetie, you're a pony. So she has to have her very own. And, of course, she hangs out here with the horses because she's a pony. And don't ever forget that, y'all. Too many of y'all call her a donkey, and she's not. At some point, I know she gets tired of me having to remind you she's a pony. <laughs> hey, sweetie. And look, Rita, poor Rita, all by herself over here, sweetie. Why do you have to be all by yourself when you eat, sweetie? You just need your, your alone and you need some alone time. <laughs> Rita cannot be trusted by everybody else. All right, we got more horses to feed, y'all. We're still moving around. Come on. All right, this is really hard over here because what you don't want to have is your goats and your horses intermingling. Uh, your horses will end up hurting your goats. So what I'm going to do is attempt to call all of my goats inside the paddock over here, and then I'll close that gate behind them. So I will, in fact, be feeding the goats first. Now, normally you want to feed the horses because they're higher up on the hierarchy, and they have a really hard time watching the goats get fed first. But that's what I have to do. So y'all give me a couple of seconds here. We'll take care of this. All right, so it's nothing but chaos over here. The horses ran over anyway. I threw out some corn. We have a problem. This goat cannot get out from under the trailer. I don't even know who this is. Come over here. He's gotten under the trailer, and he can't get himself out. Come on. So they slide. They can crawl under places. Friends, come on. What are you doing under here? Come on. Give me your horn. Get, get, turn, turn. I'm going to crank up the tractor, I guess, and raise the trailer up so he can come out from underneath there. Guys, this is not where y'all eat. So this is, this is turning into a lot of confusion for everybody. Look out, babies. The horses are not really bothered by the goats. I just don't want to have anyone get kicked. So you got birds trying to eat, alpaca, of course, goats, pigs. Come down and eat, sir. Could you come down and eat, please? You can't, I'm not gonna feed you up there on top of that tire. So listen, I haven't even put the ostrich food out yet, but uh, we're getting around to it, y'all. We have a lot of babies to feed right now. And sometimes it's, friends, it's just organized chaos, but you know what, we got it. Uh, or you could call it a shit show, whatever. You call us ragtag, or a shit show, or I just kinda like organized chaos. That sounds better. All right, we're gonna feed Tigger and Barbie over here. They like to eat side by side, so you don't move their troughs far apart. Uh, you gotta come over here and get it, guys. They sometimes forget. They can find their way into the paddock. They just can't find their way back out. Darn it. Guys, come on around. Don't make me walk all the way. Oh, Lordy. All right, I'm just gonna have to walk over and remind them how to get back over. Come on, come on, come on. So once they come out of here, I'll close this gate so that the horses and goats will not be able to be together. The goats will finish fast. All right, now you know how to get out. Now go ahead and get on over there. Run, run, but don't fall. Leonard, I don't think so, Leonard. Leonard, there they go. All right, they're fine. I'm gonna close the goats inside of here so they can't get out. 
And don't forget, we have a goat trapped under the trailer, I think. I think he's still under there. We'll have to go get him out and feed him separate. Well, I couldn't find all of the pigs. And as I look down the hillside, looky. Newt! Hi, buddy. What's wrong? Newt's like, I just want to hang out here by the creek. I'm not really interested in eating right now. It's too much chaos over there. And I don't like ragtag shit shows. I just need a more sophisticated farm to belong to. Can anyone adopt me? Newt, no one's going to adopt you. you. You live here. Now hush it up. Yeah, he wants to go somewhere that's more sophisticated. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not doing that, Newt. We don't give our babies choices to move to more sophisticated farms because it's too ragtag for you. Y'all just forget he ever said that. Just forget he ever said that, okay? That's actually food for Littlefoot. Littlefoot, there's nothing in there. Littlefoot, your stuff's on the ground. Uh, Buffy, that's for Littlefoot. Oh, Lord. All right, we got all the goats, the miniature cows, Littlefoot, the emu, and the mini pony, the mini donkey. All of these babies over here are fine. They're eating along this fence line. And of course, we got our big birds are over here. Friends, the last thing we're going to do is get out the hay. Jamie's going for the green hay right now. That's the alfalfa hay. And uh, we don't normally bring it all. What? What? Oh, Lord. We have a problem. So I'm coming around the side of the house because supposedly we have some kind of a problem. Oh, I see the problem. Donkey Dan's out. No, that's Ivy. Yeah. Sweetie. So that's our pony. Our little pony's gotten out. And look, all these these donkeys are very jealous that our pony's out. But like, why can't we be ponies too? Why can't we all be ponies? Yeah, y'all are not ponies, y'all are donkeys. All right, Jamie will take care of that. She'll take care of Ivy. Ivy does her own thing, friends. Y'all should already know that about her. She's an old lady. And sometimes older folks just do what they want to do. They have, hey, they've lived a long life. They've earned it, okay? They have. All right, we put older people in the same class as veterans. Yeah, they've served their time and now they can pretty much do what they choose to do. <laughs> Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.